welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Two Man Them Talk Random Recommendations. I'll be your boy Kwame. And I'm your boy Enigma, man. And you know, this is when we recommend a random film. Um, it could be a classic, could be a recently released movie. The movie I'm reviewing is a thin, oh, rec- not reviewing, recommending <laughs> is a thin line between love and hate. <laughs> Darnell, you listen to me. A night full of passion can give you a lifetime of pain. Martin Lawrence. Here I come, world. Here I come. It's a uh, I knew you was going to do that. I, I, had to, I gave space for that. <laughs> <laughs> I gave space for that. Oh, man. The soundtrack I don't think this. I can say a thin line between love and hate without Kwame <laughs> singing <laughs> Hate Towns. <laughs> It's Come a thin line between love and hate. It goes without saying. They're intertwined. Come on, man. Um, look. I... Who is it? <laughs> what? Martin Lawrence, the one and only time he directed. I wish he had directed yeah. again because he's done so good in this. Um, obviously, as the iconic Darnell Wright. Um, <laughs> the Playboy. <laughs> I love it. Chocolate City. Um, performing a bit of vanilla sprinkles in there as well. Um, the owner of... <laughs> the one of... Um, Chocolate City. If people okay, if people don't know the story, don't know right. Martin Lawrence's character basically and a Playboy. T, don't forget T. T. Bobby Brown. <laughs> Iconic. Bobby Brown's best he's ever been on screen. Ever. Well. The ever. best he has ever been on screen. Let me do a um, favor. Let me give you this. I want you to do me a favor. I'm gonna give you this. Chocolate City VIP. <laughs> Bro, please understand how much we used to rinse that scene. Please Seriously. understand. Seriously. Do me a favor. Let me give you this. Give this. <laughs> but hey, hey, hey. Um, Miss Lady Miss Lady oh, there's, there's too many Donald Wright Martin Lawrence's character serial playboy then kind of finally meets his match in the iconic Lynn Whitfield Lynn Whitfield Brandy Brandy basically an unattainable woman makes him chase weird. even more finally gets her then he realises he actually is in love with his childhood Mia, who, Mia. Regina King, just in case the title doesn't suggest it, Lynn Whitfield goes from the love to the hate, basically becomes a femme fatale, um, mm. does everything she can to fuck up his life, starts with the tires, starts with the car, ends up bloody burning down his whole nightclub, man. It just, it yeah, just really just escalates mad. and escalates, gets into a madness. But thin line between love and hate, iconic comedy. Martin, <laughs> at absolute peak this is 1997 absolute one year after bad boys and let's just remember fresh off the martin tv show so martin is apps running on all cylinders jokes are firing this nigga almost died comedy. making this movie seriously which is probably the reason really why he's never directed to be honest, to yeah. again yeah. Um, yeah. iconic <laughs> scenes um let me stop you right there bro but i will, i swear to god i'll just I don't to... deliver chicken, chicken. Fact, my family, my family owns, owns chicken fixings in fact, we own 20 chicken, chicken fixes that did 5 million in profit last year. Should not be Let me stop you right there, brother. I don't deliver chicken. My family owns chicken fixings. In fact, we own 20 chicken fixings and that did 5 million in profit last year. Should be obvious. I fucking record it, T. Yeah? Bro. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, we used to rinse the <laughs> shit out of that Reggie, scene. Reggie, bruv. And Reggie. you realise, sorry, sorry, but you do realise this is Reggie. This is the original Reggie character, original which Reggie. they used again in Bad Boys 2. <laughs> yeah, so true. it was another door scene where he gets to diss Reggie. Diss Reggie, yeah. With your yeah, chicken yeah. fixing biscuit dinner. Especially with your chicken fixing biscuit dinner. <laughs> Martin is the, le- he's a legend. I don't care. Legend, no, legend. A legend. A legend. Seriously, a legend. man. Um, that Too scene, you, you can't get through that scene without cracking up. Um, it's the best. Seriously, it's a, it's a warning to man's as well. <laughs> Never always go after that unattainable woman because she could be crazy as a motherfucker. Literally. Sometimes there's a reason why women are unattainable. Sorry, women just not trying to be sexist. And the same goes with men. There's some reasons why men are unattainable. Why they ain't with someone could be because they're crazy ass bitch like Winfield. Literally. 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 Put oranges in a sock and hit her ass. Um, <laughs> crazy ending. Don't you know why? Oh, Don't you know you I mad. love you? Will always be iconic. Um, yes, yeah, yeah, just <laughs> again, 
if you want to see Martin at his peak, if you want to see dope black, um, affluent black individuals, you know what I'm saying? Like we we didn't always again. I know we. I was. I have been with recommending the, the hip hop movies, a bit more yeah. movies, but again, Boomerang, these type of shows, obviously Fresh Prince, starting to show yeah. black people not just in the hood, but in an mm-hmm. affluent setting. Yeah, um, yeah, Brandy's yeah. got money. Darnell's yeah, got money. Everyone is kind of going to say it, but they're still hood. They're still black. It still gives you that dope experience, dope romantic comedy elements, but just ridiculous yeah, one-liners because you, of you, Martin. You got to give a shout out to Della Reese, man. Della Reese. Up, They're watching your talk <laughs> shows. <laughs> Della like, Reese. Ooh, not too much salt. <laughs> Make, make your feet fat. fat. I This is what I'm saying, people. Like, Delarice, as you can see, bro. we're just pulling out line after line. Come here, baby. There's too many lines. <laughs> <laughs> when you think about seeing that, seeing a dog. <laughs> you a dog. Oh, chill. Females all the time sweating a man about being a dog. Being a dog. The oh my days! Yeah, I chill, it. bro. Chill. No. When him and the what? man them are just talking about uh, you know teams and relationships. Love hurts. <laughs> hey, hey. Chill. Being a dog, like we used to rinse that shit out. Um, oh my days! Yeah, there's, there's so much stuff in this you actually forget that has come from a thin line between love. Like, for God, love bro. And hate. Seriously, there's so Baby. many. Things. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, we could go on forever, all man. Day, but yeah, all day. that's my recommendation. Oh, Finland between love and hate. Please check it out. Please check it out, bro. You picked an absolute <laughs> classic with that one. Oh my god! Like I'm actually gassed off that, bro. I forgot about how freaking good this movie was. It's so good, bro. I'm not even. Oh man, seriously, I for, literally, bro. I actually forgot what I was supposed to do. I'm too stuck in Finland, bro. We could have done a Finland the, the whole episode. Bro. <laughs> Women always sweat the man about putting <laughs> in the, the dog. dog. Bro, what is your... No, nah, seriously, it's too much. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to jump in real quick. And I'm going to breeze through this. I'm, yeah. Okay, so I'm reviewing the old but classic from the same era. Came out a couple years before Finn Lion. Mm. And it is the classic that is Jason's lyric. Jason, son, I need to tell you about your brother. My brother? He's going to rob a bank with my brother and his crew. Mm. Now, even before I get onto the movie, yes, I'm going to make a hot take. Well, this is a hot take statement. I don't give a shit. I'm going to say it. Arguably, mm. one of the best movie soundtracks of all time. Damn, I, get, yeah, look, I said it. Yeah, yeah, you're I not going to get any arguments from over here. You're not going to get back any arguments. And listen to the soundtrack and see how many freaking tickets came off this soundtrack. Serious. It serious. rivals above the rim. It rivals above the it rim. Does, it does. It does. It does. It does. I am not going to argue that. I'm not going to argue what? that. Yeah. Yeah. Brian yeah. McKnight. Oh, man. Mm. Brother. Listen, go listen to it. It's too much. The, it's the, the, the songs on this soundtrack, I forgot how good this freaking soundtrack yeah. was. Yeah. Brother, yeah. It's yeah. so deep here that I like the soundtrack more than the movie. <laughs> how about that? How about that? That's how it really is. Yeah, and yeah, I like yeah, this movie. Yeah. I like, like this movie, movie a lot. Exactly, but the soundtrack exactly. is even better. Yeah, but like it's it's a it's a it's an interesting movie. It's a good, you know what I liked about this movie? Mm. When it's set. Yes. Back then, we never saw a lot of movies set in the south. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was like all this. in a city. It was all in a yeah. city. New York. This is a West country house movie. movie. Yeah, country house movie. This is yeah. a country house movie. It's true. You know what it's, I mean? true it's true. It's true. And they they got a star studded cast. Mm. Got the legendary Alan Payne. Alan, the legend back then, still underrated as far as yep. I'm concerned. Still 100%, underrated, hundred percent. And then obviously you got Jada Pinkett, arguably one of the best she's ever looked. This was her era, though. Nineties was her era. Like again, we just mentioned that not too long ago, bro. She yeah. was nineties. God, yeah, nineties Jada. Yeah, was Jada. Was, was I don't yeah, know that, who we got now. Yeah, I don't. But <laughs> like, you know what it is. <laughs> I like Jada Pinkett. I don't know if I like Jada Pinkett Smith. There, there, you, go. <laughs> there you go. I'm sorry. I'm just being real. That's it. I love Jada that, Pinkett. That's it. Rubs up. That, yeah, yeah that, that. I love Jada Pinkett. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Like that summarizes um, it definitely. You know what I mean? From Jada a different Pinkett world with Vanda Smith. Oh my with god. With Vanda Smith. Oh my god. Yeah, she's the mm, one. Like mm, for real. Mm, like mm. I love. And you know what it is? If I'm totally honest, it's not even just how she looks in this film. I actually really 
loved her character. Yeah. I love her character. Yeah, her character is the type of girl I would go for. Yeah. I like yeah, her yeah, character. Yeah, she yeah. Like, I just, it was just good. I like it. Yeah. It's, it's funny because remember Lisa Nicole Carson is in this as well. Oh. She plays Tretch's love interest. Oh. It's the best she ever, oh my mm. goodness. Well, oh, you, oh. you know what I'm saying. The way we used to beast over Lisa mm, with Nicole Carson, bruv. God. And, and then she went to Allen with Bill and made it oh, even worse, bruv. Worse, bruv. Mm. bruv. Mm. When I say we used to feed over Lisa, mm. anyway, anyway. And, and then the beat scene, I was... Oh, God. Yeah, that's Lisa. right. Lisa Nicole mm. Carson. Mm. She destroyed her career, man. It's so sad what happened to her, man. Yeah, another yeah. one. Another yeah, one. another one that mm. beat the dust. Mm. But yeah. So she yeah, had Lisa Nicole Carson obviously played Jay's or Jada Pinkett's brethren, a love interest to Tretch, who plays mm. Jada Pinkett's <laughs> older, older brother Alonzo in this movie, who talks Alonzo. with the highest pitch voice ever. <laughs> He's hilarious. Bruv, why did he talk like that? Seriously, seriously. What's up, Mary? <laughs> I know you don't talk much because you ain't never had no dick in that pussy, bro. Why would you say that to your little sister, bro? Like, bro. Like, Some of the you, stuff that man says to his little sister. You know sister, that's bro. weird, yeah, bro. You know that's your sister, bro. That's Calm down, weird. bro. Maybe she spread her legs a little more often. She could chill the fuck out. Yeah, yeah. That's Why are you pressing anyway. her to get beat, bro? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, also, um, the legendary um, um, Eddie Griffin is in this as well. Let me get one of them titties to go, <laughs> a side of ass, and a cup of them lips. Well, I'm sorry, sir, because they don't have none of that on the menu. They look like they need to be on a tray. Oh, yes. Yes. Everyone forgot, he, he, he's mm. one of Joshua's brethren, isn't it? When they yes. go pick him up from prison yes. and all that. Yes, 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 yep, yep. yes. yes. Like, yes. And Forrest, this is, this is, Whitaker, play, play, play your mad dog. <laughs> Crazier, I was high when they hit me. <laughs> Legendary Suzanne Douglas playing mm. their moms. Bro, this movie is an all star stud, like a star studded cast of black actors, bro. It's crazy yeah. when you think about it. The lineup is insane. It's actually yeah. pretty decent. And I think, you know um, Bokeem Woodbine has uh, never been more Bokeite Bokeem Woodbiney than in this movie. Bruv. This bruv. is this is if if someone said what's Bokeem Woodbine? What's go Jason with lyric? Jason's lyric? That's what he is. Just go with Jason's lyric. Mm. Jason's lyric, it's gonna go down in history because of its soundtrack. And that's yeah. that's where I stand. That's where I yeah. stand. Yeah. 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 Dope, dope, dope. Yeah, man. Well look, another to different but in many ways just iconic to us recommendations man we hope they are to you too if you haven't checked them out please let find it wherever they're always available on these streaming platforms now you'll be able to track them down jason lyric and a thin line let us know what you think man drop a like or something in uh, drop a drop a comment let us know if you liked it or not if you did if you disagree let us know man Get involved in the conversation, man. And if you could drop a like or subscribe, as always, that would be much appreciated. Seriously. Yeah, man. Excellent. Thank you. And thank you guys for tuning in. We've been the two men them that talk movies and talk and talk around the recommendations. I'll be your boy Kwabi. I'll be your boy Enigma. And we'll see you next time, man. Peace.